Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Halcyon 6 Lightspeed Edition. There we go. In the last episode, we... What did we do? I think we began destroying more Kroll fleets everywhere. We helped the Zlar Directorate? Con Conclave? Combine? <laughs> with, a, with, with a problem they were having. We assisted the pirates a little bit, and... I think we destroyed a rogue pirate fleet that had attacked one of our planets. We've also reached tier 5 ships. I believe these are the final ships in the game. And in this episode, I'm hoping to actually construct two fleets of them. Let's get in there and get this done. Now bear with me everyone, it's been almost a week since last recorded. I also do apologize for the delay in recording more Halcyon 6. It's been a, it's been a tough week uh, for me. I'm having back problems. <laughs> it's terrible. And I haven't been able to sit here in front of my computer to record very often because of it. Alright, anyway, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the situation we find ourselves in to figure out what on earth I was doing. So... Did I construct? Yes, I absolutely constructed the hangar by now. Building another reactor. This way we have more energy. Where did I put that? Where, where, did, I, where did I put the, the tissue? Here it is. Tier, tier 5 ship hangar. Alright, perfect. So, Adorkable, you responded so far. And you wanted all the hit points. All of them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the engineering vessels. And see which one of these gives us the most hit points. The champion is 5,050... 5, 5, 5, yeah, 5,158. So it's going to be the Paragon, then, is what we'll, is what we'll create. 6,017 hit points. Nice. And faster, as well, which is also very nice. So let's go ahead and begin constructing. Oh, a Paragon. What level are you, Adorkable? I should build a ship first for an officer who is the highest level. I think, is it Milner who's the highest level? Level 12, level 13. So it's going to be Supernova. Milner, you are so flipping close to leveling. We're going to throw you into a Dark Matter Multiplier. Get some experience points. Actually, no. Let's, let's cancel Bucky Rogers. Because you'll get more experience points, Milner, by getting us more crew at a higher level. Yeah, one more day, but it's a third rank activity. So I believe that will give you more experience points. And Bucky can just stay over here and just get us some dark matter. A very tiny bit every few days. Alright, so. Now, I'd like to stay home. You didn't tell me what type of ship you want. and It's been six days, so I'm going to assume we're going to follow the same... The same type of ship that you have currently. Like, basically the upgraded version of it. So, I believe you were using the... The Commando? Is that correct? Let me look at what ship you're, you're currently flying. Let's see. I'm sorry, you're, you're using... Uh, you're, you're using either a Hunter or a Ninja. I think you're using the Hunter. Which means that we would take the Commando. Because I believe that's the same thing. Yes, okay, so let me just double check to make sure it is indeed the ship. Yep, like this MK4 is a hunter. Alright, so then let's go ahead and. Okay, so we'll, we'll construct the commando for Milner, we'll construct the paragon for Adorkable, and for Siloom. And then for myself and Supernova, we will go ahead and construct, I think, the wizard. And actually, I guess we should construct a wizard first. Because we have a level... Th I don't know, is there... Does it tell me what requirement has... One second, let me take a peek. So if I go to Milner, I go to Traits. We need level 13 to build a tier 5 ship. So the only one who will benefit from it currently is indeed Supernova. So let's go ahead and construct 
a wizard to start. Adorkable, you're probably going to level up next, so we'll also add a Paragon to the queue. That's fine. We'll construct it. And the same thing for Milner. We'll get a Commando constructed. And it just occurs to me, instead of Milner you doing this task, we could have Milner go over to the Tier 5 hangar and actually begin working on the Commando upgrades. So let's get some speed and, eva and evasion for... Can't. Supernova is the only, only, the only level 13 you have. That's right. Okay. Sorry. So back in here you go, Milner. Adorkable, you're the only one not doing anything. So let's toss you into this. All right. So now everyone's doing work. Let's look at the star map. We're not under any attacks. No one else needs any assistance. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we're out here fighting, destroying things with my Tier 4 fleet at the moment. That should be fine. Yep, they'll continue doing doing so. Retrieve the pillar. Oh, right. Yeah, we're doing a quest for the Corazon Consensus. I forgot all about that. And we have 20 days left until the starbase becomes assaulted from the next Kroll inv invader. That's fine. Continue to do replication. Commander, the facility at Alpha Delphini is under attack by those mysterious Vorash aliens. We receive reports they have deployed some kind of leech-like fleshy organ to the side of the facility. If you don't send aid, the facility is likely done for. Oh, of course they would attack the same spot again that we have behemoths at. Screw you, game. Because I still have to fight the the next giant creature, which will happen immediately after this fight. God, I freaking hate this. All right, so we need our fleet out there to save that location. So Milner, you're coming off of it. Supernova, where are, what are you doing? Supernova, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? <laughs> where, where are you? You're, you're working here somewhere. Where are you working? Okay, oh, uh, we have to wait a day because I want to finish the advanced training algorithms. So we will wait. Silum. Oh, Silum's out and about. It's adorkable. Adorkable, we just put you into... I wish it would take me to the actual person. <laughs> adorkable, we don't need you doing this anymore. And we're just going to wait until the training, algorithm, training al algorithms are done. And then we will head over here to the colony to try to save them. And what is this colony? Can't use sensors offline. That's a shame, because that's what these guys are... Heavily vulnerable to. Commander, we managed to track down the Pillar of Zargon to a Corazon crash site. We can attempt a ground rescue to recover it. All right. Well, let's let's do it. I guess Greed, you have the least amount of time to complete the task, so you'll go ahead and get it, get us started with it. Commander Officer Kami has completed its task. Good. Okay, let's show the location. they will pause by time, get out of this, and send our fleet phalanx, phalanx defense over here. Okay, so... We, we can't sensors offline them, so the only thing we can really rely on is crew panic and weapons disruption. Oh, some of these guys are immune to sensors offline anyway.
Okay, so let's get a new configuration for this. Can we slow them? No, not really. So we'll need to stick with weapon disruption abilities. To get disabling strike. A counter snipe. Mutations backfire. Missile swarm. And a bullseye. Can it be vulnerable? Maybe. Depends upon the ship. Alright, Supernova. So for you, we want all the healing. Sensors offline is going to be helpful for this battle. We'll take Overwhelm Core. Oh, right. We have these new abilities now because we unlocked Tier 5 Starships. Okay. That's this. I like this one. Exploit weapon disruption and inflict crew panic on them. Can we actually hold, hold breach them? Depends upon them. Depends on the ship we target, but yes, we can. So let's take mm, Void Splatter. And one more left. Uh, we'll take the Psionics. That's a lot of long cooldown abilities. We'll take Portal Cannon. And for you, Adorkable. I like the sound of that. Demolish. Shield Disruptor. All enemies get vulnerable. Engulf. We'll take Engulf. I like that. I like, like the sound of that one as well. It's a great hole, so we can exploit the crew panic. Deconstruct. Can they be stunned? No, they cannot be stunned. I think of disable countermeasures. We have one more left. I think we'll take a heal. Another heal on. Oh no, we'll take acid bombs. That will inflict a whole breach on everyone, or try to. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so. Are these all tier fours? They look huge. Tier three. Tier three. Tier four. Only one of them is a tier four vessel. All right. So I'm gonna start with the Scythe and Dark Matter. Yeah, we'll start with the Scythe and Dark Matter because I want to put the Crew Paddock on one of them. I guess we'll start with the weakest one since this one has the least amount of. Oh, I forgot the Varash have that uh, the defense that will increase the resistances to an effect after I use it. So let's wait on that. We'll use a protective field. I think we will vulnerable a vessel. Oh, they don't have. What was the... Uh, I was fighting an enemy and they were able to gain a... Res oh! The Collective. The Collective have the passive that once you put an effect on them, they gain, a res they gain massive resistances against it. Okay, so they just take reduced damage the first turn. Meditation boost. And I... I should use Into the Fray. We really should. Oh, that was a lot of status effects. We can tune up on your... You can tune up your own vessel, Adorkable, and you should... Um, yeah, and you should be fine after that. Healing is still vulnerable. We can kill the Tarantula with the Ictus by exploiting the, the bullseye that's on it. So we'll start getting a dot effect on a different one. You will quick tune up yourself. 
and then we bullseye and this should kill it. Oh, Dark Mass Storm's ready. I forgot all about that. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's a quicker looking ability. So you're taking 258 damage per round, but you're healing 663, so you're still okay. We could exploit this, but I think I want to get the whole breach on it, everyone. Acid bombs? And then I really want a weapon disruption on one of them. We don't have vulnerable. Do we have the ability to hit all of them with, with weapon disruption, or is that still powering up or something? Missile swarm. Yep, let's do it. Oh, I see. That, that ability tried to lasso, and then he crashed in you, but he missed. Alright, let's ex... Uh... You can't... You didn't take the one ability that exploits whole breach on everyone, because you didn't think you'd be able to get whole breach on everyone. Let's warp atomic structure. And I guess we'll kill this one. They're tier 4. And then we use a essentially hole to knock this one out of the fight as well. Six fifty metal, one thousand forty dark matter. Now, now we have to fight the behemoths. Behemoths are the first configuration, if I recall correctly. But you can't sensors offline these enemies because of where we're fighting. I really want to smallish. I do want that heal as well. We're going to be fighting the big giant behemoth, I think, after this. I don't think we killed it earlier, so I think we have to deal with it again. I think we ran the last time this happened. I really do want Demolish. Let me check. Can they be whole breach? They can. I really want that ability, but I don't know what I want to drop for it. You know what, we'll drop disabled countermeasures and we'll take Demolish instead. Alright, let's do it! Can't be censored offline. The good news is that we can't be censored offline either. And this, thankfully, I'm not here. It's Supernova who's here instead. In other words, uh, I don't really have a whole lot of censors offline abilities for S Supernova. Well, we should probably... Oh, I don't, I don't have the protective field. That's a bit awkward. I took systems overload, which was a waste, because we're not going to be able to censors offline anybody here. Well, let's start by siphoning dark matter, then.
and I think we'll guard the Ictus. Or to maybe use Brace and then next turn you begin guarding. Let's just do that. There's a lot of damage that Behemoths like to do. And then we into the fray to get the damage boost. Okay, will Adaptive Armor give us a little bit of, of protection and healing us a, a bit as well? Oh, I thought this was all enemies. Is it just a single enemy to demolish? It is. Well, then let's try killing the Whisper. Dimensional flashbang. Nice, we can both slow and disable that vessel, so we'll definitely do that. Sure, we'll kill the little one and put a crew panic on the last remaining one up here. Demolish to see what it looks like. I like all the drones that get launched from that in waves. That's pretty that's pretty nice looking. And this is over. We will exploit the crew panic. Eight artifacts. The colony at Alpha Delphini's Alpha Delphini is safe once more, Commander. Hey, acknowledged. Commander, we have another Mega Behemoth in our sights! Give me visuals. Our specialists have kept coding this one Spike. Yep, I, I didn't want to really fight this. The Dorka will gain too close to missiles, switching to guns. We defeated the Farash forces that were fighting at Alpha Delphini. We now have to fight the Behemoth. And of course, I have to fight it with my current loadout. So I'm going to start with a force targeting, because I want to see what special abilities this thing has. So let's try... Actually, no. The first thing I want to do is see what it's, what it's resistant to. It's resistant to crew panic. That's going to be super awkward. Because all I have is crew panic abilities. We have a sensors offline, but that we can't really use it because of this. So that means our witch at least is useless. We may only do one round of combat and then flee. If if we can. Let's Wait, where's my other heal? I don't have the other heal equipped? We're we're running immediately. Yep, retreating. Yep, retreat. It's not worth it. It really isn't. Now, we did get some levels on several people. Holy crap. All right, so let's take a look. Milner has reached level 13. Congratulations. We have two more points to place. It takes way too many points to get another ability. We're, go we're gonna go down your auras. So let's take Counselor Training. You'll gain three science for tactical and you'll gain subtle encouragement, which increases the resistances for all allied ships by 25%. And then we'll put this point in Counselor Training 3. Unlocks microaggressions ship combat power. <laughs> Reduces the damage output of all enemies by 15%. We have another level up from Bucky Rogers. We'll take Mind Toss to rank two. You have another skill point. We'll take 
Frosal Magnetism up to rank 3. Cordelia Shaw. Oh! This was, beca this was because of the one upgrade you had Supernova work on that everyone leveled him. Alright, let's take... Looks like I was coming down here for space-time mastery. Applied transmissional psychology to upgrade mass paranoia ground combat power, but mostly to increase the ship speed. Two more powers, and guess what, everyone? We have to take almost every freaking ability if I want to grab space-time mastery, the final rank. Because to get down, th to get to here, I have to unlock this slot. To get to that slot, I have to go down this path. Be but I ha have to stop here to unlock this path. We'll increase the ground power here. We'll increase more ground powers. Into Borgzal, you gained four points. So we'll take Counselor Training 2. We'll upgrade the spin maneuver. Increase critical chance. Final rank of spin maneuver. I don't ever plan to have you actually have to fight in a Borg. Okay. We're coming back home. And a Dorkable, how close are you to leveling? Oh, it's going to take you a while to reach level 13. Is it Sil Silum's the one who's close to leveling up? Right. That makes sense. Okay. Well, you know what? Yeah, let's let's go home, and then we'll head up here and fight some Varash instead. You'll, you'll get experience points faster if we do that. Echoes, doing maintenance, dark matter. Crewman Trace, plus two evasion on the Ictus MK4. It's not really going to matter because we're switching to Ictus MK5 very soon. Crewman K, Crewman Kaylee, I don't care about the dark matter. Let's see, we don't care about this. Officer promoted, officer promoted, officer promoted. Crewman Kaylee gained 2% speed on the Swarm Queen MK4. Again, it's not going to matter for too much longer because we plan on building the... Oh, Tier 5 ships, hello! Oh, look at this! We have a group of... Whatchamacallits? A group of Yablings on the way to the Vorash. I think we'll beat them there. Let's send out the Phoenix Defense. Commander, the Zero Dax reactor is now online. Acknowledged. Commander, our recovery team has approached a hungry Kroll. We'll need to fight them off to protect the pillar. We have some adults. I mean, this is fine. We can't really change anything here. How many hit points do they have? Oh, that's right below you. 220. 300. 220. This is going to be a bit tricky. So we definitely want to use any AoEs we got first. So... We'll take Blood Drive to get Transfusion on all of us. So I think that means, yep, we heal a little bit each round. Shrapnel grenade to put bleeding on all of them if we can. You'll note that I used the siphon, even though it exploits the bleeding. I actually don't want the bleeding to go away. I want them taking that little bit of damage over time if possible. Well, I think we should use all our AoEs. So that means smoke out or connect an explosion to start. We'll, we'll smoke out. Holy flipping crap, that was loud! Do I have anything that exploits bleeding? That I haven't used already? We do, we have transfusion 3. I guess we could kill, maybe kill this one? I want this one dead, it's enraged. I really want that one dead. 
So let's try point blank. Good job, Greed. Good job. Let's... Explode these guys and stun them. They resisted. The cooldown there is turtling. I don't particularly care. We'll confuse it. And this one seems going to take too long to die. You, you need to kill it first. Because the turtle the guy is not going to do anything for quite some time. Good job. Good job. Okay, that's really weird. When did I last save the game? Oh, it didn't save the game. I'm going to stop here, everyone. I'm going to stop here for a little bit. Uh, it may be a little bit before I upload the next video, because now I have to get myself in the mood to redo all this work that we had just done. Okay. I don't want to say the wrong thing, because I'm, I'm really frustrated. So I'm going to take a break from the game. I'm going to upload this part so you guys have seen the glitch. Times wasn't stopped passing. The quest didn't actually fulfill itself. And we'll pick up in the next video where we redo most of the work we did so far in this episode. We'll just do it all again on screen. If the save bug happens again, I'm done with Halcyon 6. I so dumb. All right, that, that's it, Tim. That's it. Take a break. Take a break. Calm down. All right, everyone. So I, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching this one. And take care, everyone.